All right, so in this problem, I have two to the power of x squared over four to the power of x is equal to 16. So what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite four here as two squared. So now I have two to the power of x squared over two squared to the power of x is equal to 16, I'm gonna rewrite as two to the power of four. Now this is the same thing as two to the power of x squared over two to the power of two x is equal to two to the power of four. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So two to the power of x squared over two to the power of two x, that's gonna equal two to the power of x squared minus two x, which is equal to two to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 4. So now if I subtract 4 on both sides, I get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now to solve this, I'm gonna use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is one, b is negative two, and c is negative four. So now I have x is equal to negative of negative two plus or minus the square root of negative two squared minus four times one times negative four all over 2a. So this is equal to two plus or minus the square root of four minus, sorry, plus 16 all over two is equal to two plus or minus the square root of 20 over two. And the square root of 20 is the same thing as five times four, four is the same thing as two times two. So this is two root five. So now I have x is equal to two plus or minus two root five over two. If I divide this by two, I get x is equal to one plus or minus the square root of five. So this is my solution to this problem. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of four minus 25 is equal to zero. So I'm gonna find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with x to the power of four minus 25 is equal to zero. Now, I'm gonna rewrite x to the power of four as x to the power of two times two, and I'm gonna rewrite 25 as five squared. If I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, x to the power of two times two, I can rewrite as x to the power of two to the power of two. Now I have this minus phi to the power of two is equal to zero. Now, if I have something in form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b, times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is five. So I have x squared plus five times x squared minus five is equal to zero. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus five is equal to zero and I have x squared minus five is equal to zero. So for x squared plus five equals zero, I'm gonna subtract five on both sides so then these two cancel out and I have x squared is equal to negative five. Now, if I take the square root on both sides, I get the square root of x squared is equal to square root of negative five. Now the square root of x squared is simply x. So I have x is equal to the square root of five times the square root of negative one. And if you guys already know, the square root of negative one is simply equal to i. So I have x is equal to the square root of five i. And this is gonna be plus or minus because the square root is gonna be positive or negative. So this is gonna be x is equal to square root of five i and x is equal to negative square root of five i. So these are my two solutions. Now, we have another equation here, x squared minus five equals zero. And to solve this, I'm gonna add five on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I have x squared is equal to positive five. 
Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. Square root of x squared is x, this, and I have this positive or negative square root of 5. So my four solutions to this problem are x is equal to the square root of 5, x is equal to negative square root of 5, x is equal to square root of 5i, and x is equal to negative square root of 5i. All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x plus three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 333. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by factoring out three to the power of x. So I have three to the power of x times one plus one plus one is equal to 333. Now one plus one plus one, that's simply equal to three. So now I have three to the power of x times three is equal to 333. Now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by three. So then these two cancel out, and now I have three to the power of x is equal to 333 divided by three, which is 111. Now if I take the log on both sides, I have log three to the power of x is equal to log 111. If I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front, so this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x, move x to the front, so then I have x times log 3 is equal to log 111. Now if I divide both sides by log 3, these two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 111 over log three. Now, log 111, this is equal to 2.0453, and log three, this is equal to 0 0.4771. So I have x is equal to 2.04 Five three over zero point four seven seven one. So now this is equal to four point two eight six nine. So this is my answer. Now to check. I have 3 to the power of x is equal to, or sorry, 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x is equal to 333. x is equal to 4.2869, so I have 3 to the power of 4.2869 plus 3 to the power of 4.2869 plus 3 to the power of 4.2869 is equal to 333. 3 to the power of 4.2869 is, sorry, if you add up all these, you get 333.0369, which is approximately equal to 333. So this is right.